the fee the I think now it's on. So, my fellow European women, let's have a look at what women have endured in 12 months of pandemic. The female doctors and nurses working double shifts for entire weeks and months. The women entrepreneurs who fought back, reinvented their business and pulled out all the stops to save their employees. The mothers of lockdown children who've had to learn the toughest and most amazing job in the world with no support from the outside world. Look at Vice President Kamala Harris. Look at Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and what they've done for their country. Look at their grace, professionalism, compassion and resolve. Look at all these amazing women in our families and communities and think again, this day is for them. For the women on the front line and the women in the back office, to the business women and the volunteers, to the mothers, to the daughters, to the unsung heroes of this pandemic. This is your day, and this is my thank you to all of you. On Women's Day, I want all European women to know that Europe, it is at their side. I am on your side. I want Europe to finally become a continent of equal opportunities for men and women. And I know we're not there yet. I know the playing field is not level yet. I know from experience that women have to work twice as hard to get the same salary, the same recognition, or the same leadership position as their male colleagues. I know the obstacles and the prejudices. And therefore, I'm proud that last week the Commission presented two proposals to address two of the great injustices that women still face, the gender pay gap and the gender employment gap. Women in Europe are paid on average 14% less than men. This is simply not right. So we are proposing a European directive for pay transparency. It is built on two simple principles. Equal work deserves equal pay and for equal pay, you need transparency. And women must know whether their employees, employers treat them fairly. And when this is not the case, they must have the power to fight back and get what they deserve. And there's more to do. Too many women in Europe lack a very fundamental opportunity. The opportunity to work and to earn a living. Today, the employment rate for women is 67%, while that of men is 78%. And this is simply not acceptable. So last week, we have set a new target for Europe. We must cut the gender employment gap in half. And by the end of this decade, 78% of all must have a job. It won't be easy. But I can promise that we will do all in our power to work towards this goal. We will strengthen childcare because no women or men should have to choose between being a mother or father or having a career. We will strengthen elderly care. We will invest in quality education for girls and women. We will push for more women in leadership positions in public and private bodies across all economic sectors. And we have required that all member states put women at the center of their recovery plans. It will only be a true recovery if these plans are for all. Honorable members, let me quote Vice President Harris and adapt her words to Europe. We must show every child in Europe that there are no limits to who can lead and help position of power in our union, regardless of color or gender. Vice President Harris and Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, we are in this together, indeed. Equality is enshrined in the European Treaty since 1957. It's been a long road, and we will keep walking. We have to remove the obstacles on the path towards equality, 
we have to strive for equal opportunities. It is no rocket science. The necessary tools are well known and proven. We just have to implement them and do it. Long live Europe and happy Women's Day. Grazie, grazie al Presidente von der Leyen. Rimuovere gli ostacoli è stato detto da tutti in questa giornata che non vuole essere retorica, ma una giornata di impegno. Di impegno perché effettivamente l'Europa sia capace di dare il segno di una vera parità. E credo che questa sia la conclusione di questa celebrazione. Ringrazio tutti per avervi partecipato. Grazie.